Hi, I'm Jackie from Echidna Sewing and welcome to My Design Centre Basics. In this video, we will be looking at simple shapes and lines and this is the creation we'll be making. My Design Centre is available on many brother models. Today I will be using the Stellaire, but to make sure that we're all on the same page, we do need to change some settings once we get in there. So we're going to go into My Design Centre. We do need to go into our machine settings and we need to scroll to our page that gives us our measurements. And we are actually going to change it to inches today. And let's go back to our embroidery frame display. We don't want anything displayed. So to do that, we need to set it to the largest frame, which is our nine and a half by 14 on the Stellaire. We also want to turn off our grid so that we have nothing displayed. And then we're good to go ready for our next step. Your icon style or position may be slightly different than mine, but remember the names are still the same. I recommend that you take notes as we move through each symbol. And remember you can pause, rewind and rewatch as many times as you like. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, we're on our home screen and we need to go into our My Design Center. Now we're going to be going through our line options up here and also using our shapes. So first we need our shape. Now I'll just explain this screen before we go any further. And uh, we can see up the top here, we have the first tab selected. It's showing the simple shapes that are available on the machine. The first tab here though, underneath is um, selected because it's just giving an outline of the shape. And if I go to the next one, it gives a fill of the shape. And then the third one gives you the option of both. So for today, because we're just doing lines, we're just selecting our outline here. Up the top again, we're gonna go to our next tab, which gives us our closed shapes. You have your open shapes. We have our outline or stamp that is created with the embroidery edit screen. Now we're gonna select our hoop shapes and you can see all our hoop outlines here. We're using our nine and a half by nine and a half. So we'll select that and okay. Now it has put a red selection box around it. It gives you these extra options to use on the side here. If the red selection box wasn't there, these would be grayed out. Another point to note is that this line actually won't stitch out until I allocate a stitch type to it. Okay, now we're gonna get our next shape, which is our flower. So we're gonna go into our closed shapes and using our seven petal flower, bring that in and okay. So now we need to tell each line how we want it to stitch out. And to do that, we need to go into this area here. So our options are using this selection here and we go in and we have our line stitch options here. And if we were to select this one here, it gives us more in this box. Okay, so there is quite a few. So I'm just gonna go out of there for a moment. You can see up the top here though, we do have four options um, with the pencil. So the pencil, this first one, if I've got it selected, means I can draw on the screen. And I'm just gonna undo that, go back into our options. The next one is to do a closed shape drawing on the screen. So I will show you what that means. It means I can do a half circle. It will then close the shape for me. So it's good to use when you're trying to line something up or go around something. So I'm going to go back into our options. The next one is our straight line. So if I go OK and I just touch the screen and drag, you'll see that it will draw a straight line. And if I do it again somewhere else, it will do the same. So we'll undo that a couple of times. Then go back into your options and you'll see that there is a, I like to call it a zigzag or lightning. We select that and it allows us to do a continuous straight line. So if I touch there and let go, touch there, touch there, and it'll just keep adding to my line. To set the stitch, tap the lightning icon. Okay. 
So that's your drawing options with the pencil. So if I undo that, we go back to our petals. And now what I want to do is change each petal to a different stitch type. So we'll go into our options again. Okay, I'm going to choose our candle wick stitch first. I'm going to change the color so we can see that we have actually changed that petal because we actually won't see the line stitch type there. We'll just see the, out, out, the line actually change color. So again, we need to use our bucket to select the whole line. If I was to use the lightning here, it won't change the line, it'll just draw. So we go back, so we choose our bucket and select the line. Okay, it has turned blue, it's probably a little bit hard to see. Okay, we go back into our options to select our next line type, which is blanket stitch, which is this one here. And we're gonna change it to red and okay. And again, I just make sure my bucket is selected and select the next line. I can tell that's what I've selected because I can see a little representation here. It's the blanket stitch and it's red. So next, we need to do our next one, which is the diamond stitch. Okay, and I'm just gonna change the color to, let's do green and okay. Again, I can see here that it's green and it's got the diamond. The bucket is selected select my line. So I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to go in and choose different stitches. Um, so the next one will be our pearl drop. So the pearl drop actually is in here in our extra stitches. So we select that one and select and this is our pearl drop. And okay. Again just changing the colour and okay. A bucket, purple and pearl drop. So we can select the next line, select the next one. So it's actually going to be the random satin stitch, which is this one here. Okay. And again, a different color, go to brown or orange, like a brownie orange. <laughs> and a bucket is selected, so we need to go to our next one. We've got two more to do. We go back in and we're going to select the feather stitch, which is this one here, and okay. And let's choose purple, okay. Selecting the next line, and we have one more to go. We're going to go back in here and we're going to use our satin stitch, and we're going to use a, a blue, and okay. A bucket still selected, I can see that it, our settings are set there, touch the line. Now, I know it's very hard to see those colours, but if you zoom in, you can see they've actually all got a different colour. So I know we should be good to go to look at our next page, which gives you a preview of how it's going to stitch out. So we're going to zoom back out. Okay, and we need to go to our next screen because we're going to um, look at how each stitch is going to stitch because we can set parameters down here. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to preview it. It will tell me that it hasn't been saved. That's okay, we're just looking at it. So we're gonna to go to the next page. On Luminaires, you'll actually see the stitches already. So on the Stellaire, we do need to go to this screen. And as you can see, we have all our lovely different styles of stitches here for us to see. Now we can change how close they stitch, what side of the line they stitch. So we're gonna go back to our previous screen. So we'll return. Okay, and on this screen, we're just going to go to our blanket stitch. So I'm gonna start there. And it's gonna give us different parameters here. So the first one is stitch width. Now I'm just gonna play around with these to give you an example of what you can do, but you can set these how you like. So I'm just going to increase our width, which is how high it is. So it actually shows you here as a little um, example of what it's talking about. Then we can go to the next one, which is spacing. So again, I'm just going to reduce that so they're a little bit closer together. We have thickness. I'm actually going to leave that one. And then also we have which side of the line. So this is great to use for things like reverse applique and applique. So um, gives you that great option. So I'm gonna set it. 
that's our first one. So our next one is our satin stitch. So I need to find that one. So that's our feather. And go through. And there's our satin. So our satin, we have the option of how wide the zigzag will be. So I do like to increase this a little bit because it does tend to be quite fine. We then have your density. I tend to leave this just for the sample um, because sometimes you don't know whether it's too much or too little until you actually do your sample. So we're going to set that and we're going to go to our Candlewick stitch. So we'll just scroll through and we're going to change the size just a little bit just to give it a bit of height and then the spacing. I'm actually going to increase the space between them. And again, I'm going to set it. I don't know whether you've noticed, but every time I change something, a little blue dot does appear above the tabs to tell me that I have changed it. So I'm going to set it and those little blue dots will disappear. Um, it's just a little reminder for me that I have, or you as well, that you've set those um, different settings. So we're going to preview what we have so far and OK. And as you can see, we have our blanket stitch, our candlewick stitch, and what was the other stitch we changed? It was our satin stitch. Um, it looks a bit thicker because I increased it a little bit. Okay, so as I said, we can return and we can change more parameters on each stitch. We can also change the type of stitch. So if I go in here, You'll notice that um, I can now again change the type of stitching that I have on the petal. So I could ch choose this leaf stitch. Um, I'll leave the color and OK. And now I can see it's changed it. There are options here again to change how it stitches, but we're going to preview it and have a look. And now it's got that lovely leaf stitch there ready to go. So now we just need to save it because if we do want to change anything and we're not happy with it, it means that we can go back to that design and re-edit the type of stitch we have on that petal. So we're going to preview it again. Now we don't have that warning message saying we're not saved it. We're ready to set it into an embroidery. Oh, one thing to note is that the hoop outline has disappeared because we hadn't allocated a stitch to it which is great because that was the whole purpose, that it would just be there so that we knew that our design would be within that. Okay, so now we're ready to set and okay. And now it is converted to an embroidery ready for us to stitch out. Let's go. Now we've stitched out our block. It looks great with all our different line stitch types. So I hope you've enjoyed it today. Don't forget to check out our other My Design Center videos and we'll see you next time.